I'm a civilized <laughs> fucking human being. Yeah, those are the <laughs> alien monkeys that are you're gonna have to take down. I'm about to blast your anus hole. You're gonna up, hypothetically man. have to put your knee on the back of their necks. Hypothetically? Hypothetically. A symbol. Alright, anyway, oh, here we are! <laughs> Let's start a Golden Empire, Ellie! <laughs> golden Empire? We are an Eternal Empire, Sorry, Eternal Ellie. Empire, Ellie. Just start off with like the most racist thing ever. Like, <laughs> <laughs> In the bottom left. Naru! Yeah. Wait, can I move it around? Oh no. Where the I was like, where the fuck? And in the that? upper right, our blue Terran, Skylish. Are you moving it around? I am, yeah. Oh wait, everyone. Oh, all right, I just gotta go to your vision. There you go. All right, I see it now. So it's pretty standard opener coming in from the red Protoss right now. No wall being set up by the Terran player, but still, with an early gas, it's going to be looking like a very aggressive opening. Gas coming in from the protest. Very typical um, start. Not much to talk about. So, Bryce, how's the wife? Dead. Oh. <laughs> I'm very sorry to hear that. We went to the zoo and... She said, take a picture of me next to the lion exhibit, and <laughs> I, I didn't see a coming tiger. It was raining, it was wet, she slipped backwards, the lions, they... The lions, oh, yeah, they took her. I'm very sorry I'm to sorry. hear that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll compose myself. Anyway, a beautiful game of StarCraft here. Uh, I know my, my wonderful wife is smiling down from heaven upon me as I cast this game of StarCraft 2 with you, tiger. What? That's right, boy, that's right. All right. Now, Gateway comes up from the Pro Sauce player. Strangely enough, two pylons come down as well, but... It looks next... like he's spelling something in the pylons. I can't, I can't <laughs> decipher right. it yet. Well, as you can see from the three pylons being set up is the Illuminati symbol. That's right, he's calling out to Satan for the power he needs to win the prize today. Which Seven may or may not be a league skin. Cybernex Core finally drops down from the Protoss player while at home for the Blue Terran, he is just setting up a nice little army in the bottom of his ramp. Now he's got both gases, I feel like he is missing one of his production facilities at the moment, but maybe soon he'll start building it. Second base coming up for the Protoss player, and as he moves out with one unit. I like the early game aggression, Tiger. I do too, but I think, I think our boy um, Skylish will be able to hold off the uh, incoming one-man attack. <laughs> the lone don't soldier. Him. Don't listen to him, Trey. I have an army coming your way. <laughs> <laughs> this massive army from Nathan better, appears to be moving out on the map. Buckle up. This enormous attack. It comes in. Trey, Trey seems to be ready, but comes. I don't know if he can handle it. He it, has it a high ground vision right now. Oh my god. He just gets absolutely... He's trapped on the red. He, <laughs> he doesn't even get an attack in. Oh. oh wait, Steve, Trey manages to hold against impossible odds. Once again, proving oh, why. Oh, wait, 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 Steve, let me, let me stream it. That way you can see from my vision. He is a great StarCraft player. Here comes Skylish in with his 3 minute and 30 second scout. Po both zealots immediately oh. raping the SCV right off the gate. Another two pilots coming in the main base. Now that's a little odd. I only see two out of three probes on both the Vespian gases. But two zealots guarding the ramp. Natural is looking pretty healthy. Meanwhile, we have a one base coming in from the Terran player on the other side. Starport's getting put down right now. I feel like we're giving them so much info. That's all right. Man, there's no tab here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what, what the key the bindings hell? are. Well, well, someone's like the excited workers. in the Burwanger household. Now, that was Velociraptor, actually my brother. A Velociraptor was comes in and says hi to the two zealots. The Velociraptor may or may not be working for Trey, giving him information. Oh my God! Nathan Robinson with a uh, strange build order. I'm not going to say what it is, but uh, I'm interested to see how it pans out. Indeed, if he's made a snake. Is a, this is a very aggressive play coming out from Nathan Robinson. But but it's okay. Skylish coming in with the natural finally coming in for good army supply at the moment. 
And with a real build order. Oh, you, you see this, Bryce? Are you seeing this? It's about to happen. Is this it? It, it might be happening. It might just Let's be. Let's see oh, if look Skylish. At Nathan. Let's see if Skylish can the make good, it to that point. He's getting a decent answer building. Stalker is a good unit in the early to mid game. Indeed it is. And with this many gateways, I can't see why he wouldn't want to be building those. The Nigel is looking very healthy right now. I still understand why there's two. Wait, wait, wait. Go back to Nathan's army. Gas. Go back to Naru's army. He's trapped the raptor. He's it trapped can't the get raptors. out. He's truly just a making a power bang move. Going on look right at now. It, look at, it's panicking for its life. Terrified as the it doesn't know what to the do. Ground. The, the male Kurak is just doesn't know what to do. It, it looks like he's sucking off all the stalkers <laughs> and the zealot right now. <laughs> he's, he's giving them a. Uh, the high morale by by BJing everything in its area. Meanwhile, at home for the Terran base, we have a good-looking natural starting to get up and running. A fully saturated main base, very beautiful, very very beautiful. A we hint a to Trey: thing. Reapers uh, are good at scouting, but not so great at fighting. We see a third base coming in from Naru right now. Oh my god, I, I messed up, like, my hotkeys. Right, this poor Velociraptor is still just... Just trapped. There's nothing he can do. I know what Jail's gonna be like now. <laughs> Look at the... He built some sort of seven out of gateways. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Like, I still have... Like, come on. Get off Shape of click. it. I got it. Wait, every time I press two, it, it goes and to it. And here it though. is, Bryce. The very that, first no, if you press of two many twice, it goes to that soon. If you're double tapping it, it teleports to that location. The camera. Okay. Oh wait, how's my other one doing? Now we're coming in with a very started. sizable army at the moment. Very good looking army. But... A little, a little too good looking. Too He's bad, cheating. I'm not seeing any um, upgrades of any kind. Just, just, the, just the army, but that's still good. An army's an army. True. He's choosing now, also not to I, advance in tech at all. I also see Instead that we still, on after I've said it so many times, I felt like Nari would have noticed it right now, but two out of three probes on both Vespine geysers in the main, I felt like he would have noticed by now, but I guess not. He seems to be okay with his supply of uh, Vespine gas, but that's okay. Woo! Oh, Jesus. A, a, a scream of terror comes out from Naru. I can hear it from across the stadium. No one's supply blocked yet, surprisingly. And they're off. The Reaper's doing a little bit of work. Grenades coming out. The Raptor is finally free. I wish Nathan would A-click on the Raptor. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah! Oh, my God. God. <laughs> oh blood for the blood god. Oh my god, he's dead. He's just dead. Looking back in the home of Skylish. I like the idea, another one coming down for him, two more coming down, he's getting ready for the late game. Skylish is just a little bit behind on army supply value, while Naru here, building a very sizable Protoss army. That's true, without any tech, His he just has to tech overwhelm him coming down in the middle units. of the battlefield, and Naru is moving out. Uh oh. I don't know about bad this. For our boy Skylish. Yeah, I don't know about this one, Mr. Burwanger. It, 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 it's really going to come down to micro here. Uh, if Nathan over micros his army, I think that's how he loses. And here it comes up the ramp. The Valkyries is in position. He's just walking underneath he's, them. <laughs> he refuses to attack. He's just oh, going for the main base. I wasn't paying attention to my army. This one might come out to be pretty close. I don't know about that one, please fuck my wife. It looks like the battle cruiser is just gonna get shut down right here. Hold on. Immediately. Nathan has done everything he could to handicap this fight for him. And it oh, looks like it might not be enough. Down. At nine minutes, Nathan moves out with a sizable enough army. Another BC is coming yeah. out right now, along with a Marauder. But will it be able to hold up against all the stalkers and the zealots? The zealots are coming in on the natural. Now lift up coming in. Vespine guys are going down. Star points are going down as well. The battle cruise is coming out right now with the marauder. Will it be able to hold it off with just these two oh. units? I don't think I'm seeing it. Please fuck my wife. It might be over right here. 
I think we're gonna see a big GG and an F10 coming out yeah. of Trey in a moment. SCVs go down, Fusion Core is down, 37 supply from Naro. He, he lifts he, he lifts the base, he's trying to run past him, maybe there's a chance that he can there's lift through this. I like the idea, never give up, never surrender, unless it was a misclick. Wait! The true genius of Skylish's play! Nathan has done absolutely nothing at home since he attacked, allowing Skylish to catch up. The production up. tab for the Red Army has just been completely blank. He's true. going in for the third base! It is a massacre coming in right now from Skylish. Naru finally building some more things at home. Two pylons coming down. Only one probe in production at the moment. Still only two out of three Vespian geysers and the main base still being mined from. It is just Damn unbelievable. Right. I think Nathan's early attack was enough to solidify this game. Third base going down from Skylish, but he still has eight more stalkers being warped in. A battle cruiser goes down somewhere. I heard it somewhere. Oh, here we go. I was trying to find where the units tab was. There it is. He warped it in. He can catch up if he starts attacking Nathan's base with that battle cruiser. Instead, choosing to fly at home to fight impossible odds. He turns back around, realizing his mistake. No, I it didn't even mean to click that one over there. If you go but for the probes, for you might. Him that I was going back. It's okay. Yeah, appreciate it. This is the it. power play. Much appreciated. Trey, I'm not gonna lie, it was probably looking grim either way. <laughs> no Nathan GG yeah, coming out one. from Skylish. A hundred supply lead coming out from Naru. What a amazing game one coming in. I'm hard as a rock, Tiggy Wiggy. Looking at the after scoreboards, 50 actions per minute coming in from Naru, with 41 not too far behind from Skylish, our Terran player. Looking at the army graphs here, it looks like Skylish was a little bit ahead in the early game, but then just forgot to make some more production buildings falling into the mid game. Oh, wait, I don't want to create a lot of impressive huge, showing. Okay, this is going to sound stupid. What's a production building? Barracks, factories, like and building, the starport. Right? Oh, okay, okay. A huge army spike coming in from Naru in the mid game. Oh, it's just, just busting through the ceiling. It's quite amazing, actually. It is a best of three, though. <laughs> It well, is a best of three, him. indeed. And as we go on to game number two. I'll be right back. I love you, Trey! Trey, clearly the more handsome of the two. <laughs> more female. <laughs> more female attention and appeal from the crowd. And my babies! We have a B right back coming in from <laughs> Skylish. He will be right back any moment. Her ovaries were offered up to Trey, who has declined them, saying, Thought be gone. Oh, Jesus. Eating cold, rare steak. Really feels like I'm just eating a dead body, Tiger. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. Not a fan of this texture. Taste? 7 out of 10. Texture? 2 out of 10. I'm not Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> You know what they say, Bryce. Jeffrey Dahmer the people, Dahmer. <laughs> I, I told Jeffrey Dahmer what happened. <laughs> I can't. I just came back. <laughs> no. No. It's like Bill uh, Nye the Science Guy. <laughs> oh, I, that one, that, that blindsided me. Tiger, <laughs> not gonna lie to you. Bill Nye the Science Guy, Jeffrey Dahmer the People Nomer. It's all the same thing here. <laughs> 
I was drinking water. <laughs> what did I miss? Who won? First game goes to Naru. Oh, god damn you. You know what? I quit, Tom. I quit. <laughs> no, 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 no. We need you for game number two coming into this. We're both the referees. We cannot stop until it is over. All right. Are both players ready? Yeah. I'm ready. All right. All right. Good luck. All have right. fun, everyone. As we go in to game number two on Golden Wall LE. A quick hint here, to Trey. Uh, Nathan is not very good against siege tanks. Uh-oh. <laughs> just, just, uh oh. Oh, I was gonna change, but that's fine. I'll play Terra now. All right, I'll do the intros for this. How do I, um, like... how do I go to your vision? Oh, it's still your vision. I don't have vision control. Oh, okay. All right, I'll just do the camera work and you do the. Oh, on the left side! <laughs> hey, I think from St. Cloud, Florida, on the blue Protoss, Naru! Woo! Woo! Boo! And on the right, the purple Terran player, the most handsome man I've ever met, Skylish. Woo! Wait, did I you love you! Josh? Fuck me! Yo, you Fuck get us mixed babies. up. No, no, it's you, baby. <laughs> So, All what right. do we think right off the bat? Please fuck my wife. What, what are we seeing here? Coming in from both I'm seeing players. Nathan pulling out a similar starting build order. Skylish, on the other hand, going for the two quick gases. They could go anywhere from here. I'm not going to lie to you, Tiger. Two early Vespian gases does signal early aggression, but what will he do with this early Vespian geyser advantage? A second base already starting up from the Protoss. Gateway soon to be finished. Already? Smart move. Smart move. Nah, not to be done, Trey, who can hear me across from the studio. Um, <laughs> he, he's just getting started on his second base. Gateway finishing up. Also taking the second gas. Scouting SCV comes out from Skylish, going to see what's going on on the other side of the map. He pulls back. Goes back forward. He didn't know what he wanted to do there for a second. He thought he forgot his purse at home, maybe. Alright, the first barracks is finishing up. Very sizable amount of gas for Skylish right now. I'm, I'm very curious to see where he's going to go with this. Very interesting. Ooh, no second base coming all right. Just straight into the second production facility. I like where this is going. I do, too. Starts off... This is Pretty actually close to a real build order from Skylish with the early Reaper coming out. Very good for early aggression. Heavy micro unit though. See if Skylish can pull it off. Very classic move coming in from Naru just right from the last game. It was two out of three on both Vespian geysers, but he actually puts a third probe on one of the geysers. That's amazing. He's, Please fuck it's my it's wife. truly incredible. I didn't think you could put three on them, but Naru's inventing new tech as we play. The Reaper Reaper's hits a wall. Off. He's confused. He goes around. He said, honey, I don't need the GPS. I'm just going to ask for directions. Oh, he's going can back. You, can you destroy that? You got to mine no. through it. Oh. You can, yeah, it's a secret path if you mine through it. Reaper going out for the scout, coming in from Skylish. Does Trey remember that the uh, the tech lab is needed for, for upgraded units? Let's find out. <laughs> Trey is nervously sweating. We can hear it in the studio here, Tiger. Uh, what do you think about that? Um, I think he's oh, gonna Reaper be okay. Comes in. Reaper Starts attacking comes in, the. Doing oh, some damage oh, he's to getting the probes. the probes. No, he's hitting no, the he's base. He the a... Oh no! Now he's going for the probes. There we go. Look, look at him go. He's getting a really aggression. He kills a probe. One probe kills two two probes. probe kills coming on already. Oh my. No, Do no I see answer Nathan coming in from Nathan from Naru. Three Woo! probes going down. He's playing ring around the Nexus right coming now. In. He just blows himself up his grenade. Oh, he just oh, gets the eaten caught him. alive by the Zealots. Good three kills. That's that's actually great Reaper That, that put right him there. in a worker lead ahead of Nathan by one worker. The evening of now, 22 to 22. But that's what happens when you have two um, production facilities of or command centers. Nexus is beautiful. Beautiful counterattack. 
Did we see only Naru Luren halfway through the game for two out Oh, no, he went back to one out of three Vespine guys. I don't know what he's doing anymore. Wait, what do I need to build to upgrade? I'm sorry. Hmm. What do you mean? I don't know. Like, Bryce just told me that I should get something to upgrade stuff, but I forgot what it was. Alright, never mind. I found it. <laughs> but Yeah, okay. Come on, so we don't know what you're talking about. Okay! <laughs> Scout hey. finding his footing. Bless you. I'm Please back. My wife. He is all right now. Nathan making a on. pretty sizable army to begin with. The army Bring supply up. difference at the moment is not good. Scout is trying to find his stride in the early game. He needs to get that other expansion uh, with 1,500 minerals. Skylish should absolutely start working on a new base, which he does. Excellent move. Oh my God! Look at that production tab. His APM skyrocketed right there. Absolutely amazing work. Now, looking back into the base of Naru. Making a lot more. He's going to do the same strategy he did last game, Mr. Burwanger. Oh my True. god. He's going for the massive gateway assault without getting any extra tech. Which uh, is a risky move. With the classic Naru move of only four probes on Vespine geysers all together. <laughs> <laughs> he truly hates mining gas. Wait a minute, and then we, we're seeing a, a pro gamer move right here. <laughs> Please fuck my wife. Are you seeing this? Absolutely. I, I'm not going to say anything, but, uh, you know, I think oh, Trace we are seeing We are seeing a massive spike in actions per minute coming in from Skylish. Skylish Looking back at his home base, he... Move. he he definitely knows what he's doing now. He is finding his stride right now. He should move his army game. to the front of his other base, though, because there's no way that anyone's going to come from that other direction. Field you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> I like it. I like it. He's going mass on the production here. Should absolutely uh, put those in a different mode. Third base dropping down for the Protoss. It looks like his army has not expanded at all ever since I looked at it about two minutes ago. On the other hand, for Skylish, we Look might see a upgrade. we might see a massive spike in army production coming in from Skylish. He needs to remember that his tanks do have that alternate mode, and Indeed that, that they makes do. them great defending. I remember I, when we were coaching um, Skylish, like let's say five games ago. He, we, we told him to put it in a certain mode that would just absolutely destroy <laughs> everyone. By pressing E. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back, down at the base over here, we see <laughs> nothing in the production tab. Except everything coming out of the factory, which is good. Having a mass number of these would be very good for him, but we need to get the, the, the workers back to work. Looking back in the base of Naru, he finally Naru. looks like he added like maybe three more stockers. He's got to the his tech army. upgrade coming, though. I like it. The tech upgrade, but will he be able to do something with it? Warping in it some depends. more units. If Trey remembers that magic button, it could be an even fight. Without no. it, Trey might be doomed. Still... Looking back at the base <laughs> of Naru, the a classic move, two out of three on the Vespin guys, and not the That's other right. one, though. He did a good job there. But if we look into the natural, it's a classic Naru move, two out of three probes on the Vespin geysers. I'm not too certain what that means, but... He's sending us a sign. I like the addition of the Immortal, though. That's a... It's, a new it's almost like that... he knows what Skylish was building. He just randomly decided to build Immortals out of nowhere. I don't think oh. Nathan knows the counter. A low supply about coming in from Skylish right now, but... He's at 69 supply out of 69. Nice. I <laughs> Nice. Oh, and we're oh, seeing a the, move the, out. The, if Trey remembers that magic button on those siege tanks, he's in good shape. Yep, but only if he remembers that. Trey has magic to remember button. the magic button! <laughs> 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 
Oh my god, it's over. The stalkers are coming in. They're just zapping everything. What? Wait. He does it. He, he presses oh the button. Oh my god. He presses, he presses it. the button. It's over. Oh, it's a massacre. It's a massacre. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah, my god, really look good. at all those robot legs oh. flying up into the air. That was just a terrible move coming in from Naru there. Losing his entire army supply. What was that? I want to see the graphs after this game. Please fuck my wife. Now the immortal uh, not even moving from home. Just standing there like an idiot. Look at this guy. He didn't even participated in the fight. A coward of immortal. Robot. Just <laughs> You would think that these robots had hearts with how fearful he was. But, you know, he, he was... Truly, an unfeeling machine that just refused to help. Both, uh, both players now pretty even. Anyone's now, game. Now at this we're point. finally remembering to get three out of three probes in the main. Still a classic two out of three in the natural, and then just, just. The probes are having a party in front of the third nexus, refusing to work. They are actually on strike right now. They are posing for a picture at the moment. Look at them. They're massing up in numbers. Absolutely lined up. Yep. It would back just take one single mouse stroke to fix those probes. And he fixes oh, them. And he does out. it. Oh, alright, alright. He did it. They're all right now, Mr. Please Fuck My Wife. Now, now we're floating a lot of minerals and gas at the moment, but Skylish really on Skylish. top of the production right really now. Really spending that money. insane amount of army value at the moment. I actually think that if he moves out of his army right now, he might have the killing blow on him. Oh, I think he might have heard me from across the studio because he is moving out right now. It's very possible. Skylish coming across the map. Nathan needs to really catch it off guard and take a good engagement here if he wants to have any chance. A good split coming in from Nathan's army, trying to get a little surround on the incoming army if he knows he's coming. From what angle and from where, or from when, is uh, the really the key for Nathan here. We see Skylish going with another... Another base! That is very impressive. Oh, very an engagement's impressive. happening on the map. Uh, he appears to be picking off some marines. The tanks roll in. The immortals, though, do massive damage. Nathan backs off oh my from the God. engagement. A huge volley from the siege tanks. Trey decides to move forward very slowly, re-sieging up. Another massive volley coming in, decimating another one of Nathan's immortals. He unsieges. Un Nathan the pounces on. Two tanks go down. Three tanks go down. The Reaper sacrificing off. his life to save the tanks. Trey immediately coming back. vaporized. Now, he's if we look at the home of Skylish, are we seeing this, Mr. B um, please it appears right? that he's trapped some of his tanks behind the barracks, uh, which would be very beneficial if he just lifted the barracks and let those tanks free. <laughs> and he does it! He lifts the barracks! The tanks are free to join his army. That was a lot of supply caught up behind that barracks. It might now be an even fight now. fourth base coming in first Skylish right now. Very... Um, effective economy coming in. Look at all those minerals. He is banking a ton of minerals. Now he's right got now. a lot of unused barracks with tech structures. I feel if he made marauders, they would be a very strong front line for his tanks. So a that marauder he get... siege tank army? I think that would be absolutely insane for this mid game at the moment. A fourth absolutely. base now coming in from Naru. He's not trying to keep up now. Another strike coming in in the natural. Stylish. Right now. They still refuse, ahead in workers. Refusing I'm absolutely to look at the amazed. Minerals. Indeed by his uh, his macro, he is just remembering Colossus. everything, Skylish. This man deserves to fight medium bots. I don't care what anyone says. Indeed, I do. Indeed, I do. Both players around 111 supply. It's a Snarl's very even Snarl's game right now. Now with a very slight supply advantage, but if we look at the army value at the moment, it looks like Naru is finally wow. starting to catch his stride. Is he Another... building gateways in the middle of the map? No, these are two robotics facilities. Oh my life. god! He's using the pylons! Uh, great Wait, move. Wait, he has another two at home. He's just going to build a massive robotics Skylish facility. Skylish moves out. Oh, something big's about to happen. If he something remembers that magic button. Happen, a confrontation appears! He moves in with the tanks. The tanks don't tanks siege. Tanks are moving back and forth. He just needs to siege at the tanks and it'll all be over. I was trying, but I had other fucking Not over units yet. selected, so fuck. The tanks are fighting. To get their volleys off, but I think the Colossus and Stalkers are just Massive a little bit too volleys. Much. 
The Colossi might just be. I don't know. The Marauders are putting in work. I oh, don't know. The Colossus and the Marauders are just a little bit this too one's much. Gonna be Two close. Marauders sitting out home for the defense. Skylish is absolutely still in this game. If he can put his siege tanks in the high ground. Massive oh, the volleys come through. The Colossus, Colossus, Colossus is go down. Low. One Colossus remains. Trey holds. Beautiful Trey hold. Holes. Indeed it was. Naru, now at a supply disadvantage, retreats with his two Colossus and is starting to make more at home. What about in the base of Skylish? More siege tanks coming in at the moment. A word to Naru, Colossus might not be the best counter for siege tanks. Indeed, they look extremely cool and... But I don't think they're good for this specific matchup. Now, as you can see, the probes are still refusing to look at the minerals, just on just strike at the moment. Showing their ass to the minerals in defiance. A classic 2 out of 3 on both Vespian guys are still coming in at the natural. I feel now, like Trey is going to be very close to closing this one out if he rebuilds his army. I would also like to see, yep, here we go, He it's like he read my mind, more production coming in from Skylish with the 3600 minerals that he has in the bank. With, he with so much more production coming in, he might he might be able to have a 200 supply army and close this game out, Mr. Please Fuck My Wife. Very possible, Tiger. Very possible. I am liking this worker advantage that Skylish has right now. He is not supply blocked at all this entire game except for the 69. Nice. And then both his main <laughs> and his natural are looking really good. Oh, that got me. You would have heard it earlier, but I think you were too focused. Yeah. Naru slowly warping in some more units and making Nathan some more. Nathan sends me a snap of something I can't decipher. <laughs> Absolute. It looks like a blurry screen. Oh yeah, that's what I was seeing earlier on League. Uh, I don't know why it's not my phone just now came. <clears throat> Trey with his massive defense setup might start pushing out across the map. Nathan with an, uh, 72 or 74 army supply. Stylish with an 81. Now with the robotics Very close. finishing up his units. Now this is looking like a huge robotics army coming out from Naru. If he builds a certain amount of this one unit, he might be able to just tear through the army of Skylish. Unless he has Very too many siege tanks that just might destroy him in the end. Now we have two, three production facilities not in use at the moment. I don't think that we can uh, count out the fact that they are siege tanks, so it has to be a very careful engagement. If he uh, attacks while unseaged, he could just lose his whole army. But if Nathan attacks when it's sieged, Nathan could lose his whole army. About to see, we're about to see. I don't know, with the Marauders as a front line, this may look like a very epic fight coming in. Very excited, Tiggy Wiggy. Very excited. Both armies just gathering around at the front of their bases. Oh, wait, Skylish is approaching that maxed out 200 supply. Indeed he is, but what is this probe doing in the upper part of the map? I don't know, but I'm loving it. 18 minutes into Call the game, me I, McDonald's. Am, I am very interested to see where this goes. Skylish finally approaching the 200 supply army mark, finally getting supply blocked after so long. All it needs is about two more supply depots to close it out. Nathan's getting up there. Needs some more pylons we are and uh, some more warpins. He forgot all about his gateway units, which are still viable in certain scenarios. We are seeing another one of these in the upper part of the map. Please fuck my way. This is extremely interesting. Another one comes down. Now, what I'd like to see from both of these players is any sort of upgrade, uh, whether it be <laughs> damage or defense. But they've both chosen to ignore that key feature of the game, uh, but we can't blame them. We are seeing a chicken running through the Marauder tank army. There is an Urubu butt. smelling a Marauder's butt right now. Starcraft, you know, the universe just feels so alive. The maps feel so alive. It's, it's just beautiful. We have Colossi going on a trip. I think they wanted to go trim the trees right now, maybe. Just walking around on the map. 
Nathan does possess a lot of map control. 200 supply coming in from Skylash. I think this might be the Skylash perfect time to attack. Absolutely maxed out. He cannot build any more units at this point. He is maxed out. Nathan is warping in some units, which he's going to desperately is... need for this upcoming fight. Oh my fight. god, are you seeing this? Please fuck my wife. We are seeing a strike still coming in. <laughs> so many pros this. refusing to mine on so many bases. Oversaturation. There is just an overpopulation. Wait, wait is that an armory? Second... Trey is going to start an upgrade. Are we going to see it in the production tab, though? Please fuck my Any wife. minute now. And there it is! See it? Oh he my has God. one upgrade coming. Oh, his and tanks are caught off guard by the cross the side. The uh -oh. tank's getting They're just moving vaporized. into the lasers. His siege is up, though. That's a lot of units from Trey. Oh, the volleys. That was a good fight from Nathan. He clipped off a lot of this maxed out army, which he desperately needed because he was behind on army supply. Another Colossus goes down. The Marauders, on their own, are just tearing this apart without upgrades. Marauders are extremely nice against this robotic army, just tearing through the Immortal on the Colossus. Siege tanks coming in to reinforce the Marauders. Three Marauders lead the charge as the tanks right behind them, probably about a siege up to take these robotics facilities down. But as he continues One to push One robotics up, bay goes down. All the probes still on strike coming in. Nathan's economy is in shambles. Wait, what's that on the Terry side of the map? It's oh a counterattack! It's a counterattack coming in from the upper part of the map. Those are what these snake-like pylons are doing in the upper part. The Colossi Tra were walking around for this moment. They weren't clipping trees, they were waiting. He takes out a base from Trey. Trey's army is doing something. I don't want to say what. Siege tank siege up behind. Is put down in the middle of the ramp. Siege tank's coming Good volleys. in from the back. We're getting a pincer attack coming in from behind. The tanks have flanked truly a German Panzer style Blitzkrieg. Oh my god, it oh, is it's just a massacre. a massacre. Trey brings it home to stop the counterattack from Nathan. Yeah, Both of them flowing a ton of sub minerals and gas right now, but at the moment, Trey is so far ahead with a Trey's 69 left the army value. His OPM hit zero. Trey had a heart attack for a couple seconds. I think if Trey moves out right now, he might be able to kill him. Nathan Wait, what are we seeing a bunch on of this upper part of the map? Oh, those fours! He's doing it. Trey's winning my heart. Trey switching up the army composition to really fuck Naru in the ass right now, as we're seeing just one unit comp coming in from Naru. We're seeing the really game coming the in back at the office. natural. Wait, the counterattack comes in. He's rebuilding his base. A mass of stalkers come in. The siege, the tanks are on siege. He blocks the ramp with the tank. Tanks go down. Stalkers are moving up the ramp. They're going he, up into the tank. Trey he gets the armory. His tank. He gets the armory. This this uh, siege tank siege up. His and army the is pulling back, out. but he might run into the reinforcements of Naru. Siege Naru's tanks coming in to intercept in. the stalkers. They just they're just they look at each other. with each other, holding hands. The siege tanks are going a massive. Oh my god, the flank. Trey's army has just walked into the siege tanks. But we're looking They're back in the, the main stalkers. base. It's just a So massacre. many stalkers go down. A truly just... effective fight for Naru, but I think he might still have too much on Skylash's side. Naru's whole army falling in the natural and the main base. He never even got to touch anything. That was beautiful micro from Trey's side of the map. Indeed, it I like was. the counterattack like, ideas, though. It's truly keeping Nathan in this game. We are seeing but another. But is it too little, too late? What's going on? From Naru, army in the upper part, but there is just still these workers on strike. His they massive just mineral bank. Work. Nathan oh, damn has it. Get to work, count. you bastards! So his minerals have fallen significantly, while All Trace sits at seven thousand. All of Naru's army is just sitting in the upper part of the map. Nothing at home defending it. Why would you say that one? What are you talking about? Please fuck oh, my wife. He can't hear me. Oh, the attack s comes in. The, the attack comes in from the way. But the it might just be too just, much. The Thors are just tearing through the army. Oh. Oh my goodness, a massacre. A massacre in And Tyler takes game two. We are tied up one to one. A no GG coming in from Naru either. Pretty respectable hey, considering that both players. Go,
<laughs> both players, both, both did players, GG each other. Just absolute scumbags. Uh, What's up, <laughs> We're coming in. Nathan, silent on that oh. game. <laughs> oh, I was listening to music. Look, a, a 74 actions per minute coming in from Nathan Robinson in that game. A quite that's a significant a, that's pretty, spike pretty from high last APM. game. Yep, and then the 58 coming in from Skylish. Very beautiful game. Let's look at that army graph that we were talking about earlier. Look at the decline in the army coming in from Naru every time he engages on the siege tanks. And then the massive army spike coming in from Skylish after he got those production facilities up. Damn, dog. Just an absolutely beautiful second game coming in. You know, I really wish Ooh, Naru at some point. Of, like, uh, fucking that's not what? It's all right, Is baby. That's not good. No, okay. No. But it, it comes with practice. Um, I wish Naru yeah, at some yeah. point would have remembered that siege tanks cannot shoot up any air, air unit whatsoever. It would have just decimated those siege tanks. We belong on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Truly a Protoss player, with his stubborn ways, he just sent wave after wave of poor soul in to be massacred because he refuses to believe that something can fly. One day God will land on the moon! <laughs> you Man, think an uh, advanced no alien it. civilization that uh, has crazy. mastered invisibility <laughs> would realize that they could fly. <laughs> All right. We are in the final game of this series of our best of three. Please fuck my wife. Are you excited for our last game on purity and industry? I am more excited than I thought I ever would be. These are pretty close matches coming out of both players. I and wonder if they will take any notes from uh, how they've played in the previous matches and build upon it. Indeed is. I am now putting up the protective barrier around our studio so they cannot hear us casting anymore. I would like to also offer the league scan once again because I am truly impressed by these two players. Indeed I am. But Scott is going in for a race change in the middle of the game. Zorn! 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 <laughs> <laughs> stroke. I went cross eye. <laughs> <laughs> I almost, I almost started the game. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to change my pants. I just read. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't think these levels of dopamine could be in my brain. This is a high that I have really achieved achieved in life. It's getting hard to speak. I, I'm starting to slip away. I'm tripping balls at how excited I am. Trey with, <laughs> I assume, zero, zero knowledge that Zerg, Zerg, Zerg oh, has decided is, to, is, is, to is, switch. Are we going to see a ZVZ? Both Knowing players nothing? don't know how to play Zerg. <laughs> Zerg! <It's> Zerg! <laughs> <laughs> my eyes popped out of my head like a cartoon wolf when I saw Nathan switch to Zerg. <laughs> Is Skylish back at his desk yet? Yeah, yeah, I've been here. He's listened to everything, and he wants to go through with Zerg. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. how real that I was. He <laughs> said he used to play Zerg. Let's see. Let's see if I remember anything about it. Oh, now, he Trey, used to play Zerg. I'm excited. Are you confident enough that you can play Zerg, take the best of three, and the League of Legends skin with you in this game? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll just switch back to Terran. Thanks for the fun time, guys. Let's just play. Oh, Rust, I don't think Rust is as invested if you're not Zerg. Well, oh, Trey, you just beat yourself down with that. He only asked you a question. I did. He was like, oh, you feel confident? You're like, no, fuck you, Tiger. I, I'm just done. <laughs> You can play Zerg if you want. <laughs> whatever you're more confident with. That, that was yeah, the question. Wh whatever, whatever you like, big man. Let's do it. Zerg! We are seeing a race mix-up in the last round of our best of three. Have we ever seen this before? Please fuck my wife. I think, I think I know Nathan's weak spot though. Oh, here we go. I'm sorry, yeah, I blacked maybe. out. I just came back. Uh, <laughs> uh, what hat would I miss? 
<laughs> I was asking, Mister, please fuck my wife. We are seeing a a, uh, a race uh, mix up and the last uh, round of our best of three. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, have uh, we ever seen this before? This is a level of sexual bliss that no man has Bye, achieved. Just start. Oh! He changes it back to Terry. He doesn't know what he wants. Oh! I, I, I just you're wanted. You're so much shit. You sounded like we're not. Oh, what shit have we given you? <laughs> <laughs> we are commentating over this. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm so excited to see Zerg, and he keeps switching back and cooking well, me. I was, I was, I was like, all right. <laughs> I'm like, all right, well, I'm sorry, 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 yeah, sorry, 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 Please fuck my wife. I am. I I have never been more excited to see this. This is An the first time. An absolute roller coaster of emotions. This is the first time I've ever seen a race mix up, and the best of three. This is amazing. Absolutely. I want to see how much Skylish remembers of Zerg. It sounded like he had a plan, and I want to see him put it into action. All right. Coming in on the upper left, playing as the purple Zerg, Skylish. Whoa, I don't know about that one, ma'am. And coming in, the green Protoss on the bottom right of the screen, we have... Naru. Boo, what a loser, boo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they love me. Now... Looking the, at the <laughs> Zerg base, we're seeing a very similar opening to the Terran with a double Vespian gas opener. Uh, I'm really impressed that Trey has uh, remembered this much of Zerg, but the one key thing that he may not have remembered is that you really want to get that early Overlord to avoid that quick supply block. Indeed, it is a very early supply but coming in from Skylash for the Zerg. Most races. Oh, oh, what oh, is going on? Oh, what happened? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my they heart. They all had a seizure there for a second. <laughs> oh, they, they looked like they gave up and were going to jump off the map like lemmings, but they came back to work with Nathan's iron will. He's got a good score. opener. Goes for the Indeed, Cybernetics Core yes. before the expansion. That's something we haven't seen yet from Naru. I wonder Indeed if he's going to try something is. new up his sleeve. However, this is very impressive opener coming in from Naru. Probably one of the cleanest openings I've seen out of the two games we just watched. Very true. But actually, from both players, uh, Skylish over there, I think he has a pretty clean Zerg opening right now. Indeed, he, he needs does. to also we remember are... that a spawning pool is important for every unit to be built. Every As single floats. unit, indeed. Swimming pool. Now he also uh, could remember that bases are only 300 minerals as the Zerg, 100 minerals cheaper from everyone else. So an expansion is a very, very important thing. Nathan with the expansion. Trey also with the expansion. Both players on even playing grounds right now. Indeed, they are. Indeed, they are. A very first. Army unit coming in from Naru, guarding the ramp of his natural. He chrono boosted the cybernetics core with nothing building on it. No, That's he truly does. a next he level. Oh, no, wait, no, I lied! I lied, it wasn't in the production tab. I saw it now. He tricked this caster. It is now the still production suffering, tab when you're uh... researching upgrades. Now, what do we have here? We are seeing an upgrade. Wait, yet. Oh, no, I thought that was a warp gate forming. Yeah, 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 because it is in the production. No, but look at the production time for Skylish. Oh, yeah. I, uh, he is getting, getting the Overlord, Overlord speed. speed upgrade. Very good for scouting and giving information on the map. Uh, truly a pro-level move. Uh, now, what I like as... right here is the spawning pool upgrade coming in from Skylish. This is a very oh, important absolutely. and very good upgrade. Now looking it back appears at the he of really Naru, does remember how to play Zerg. Uh, and I'm, you know what, I'm glad he picked Zerg. Uh, he almost talked himself out of it like four times. It was incredible to watch. It was incredible but, uh, to watch. It's almost like he heard us from the other side of the studio talking about it. Now he's also getting a queen on his main, which is another high-level Zerg move from Skylish. 
Who is building that army supply? Second gateway dropping in from Naru. He's actually double the army supply of Nathan right now. Didi is. But the natural looking pretty good for Naru. No. Yeah, Naru's on more workers. No drones coming in for the Zerg at the moment, but a queen spawning in right now. What are we going to do with the queen? He, there are so many oh, options he, he can do with that queen. He can inject. It. He can inject his hatchery with larva to produce more units. If he puts or, it on a creep tree, I'm going to lose. He did it. He, a tray. That is a silver made. level move on a tray. Absolute beautiful creep tumor. I, I honestly is. thought his queen was just going to walk off the edge of the map, but he <laughs> blew my mind and put down Didi a creep tumor. And the creep is now spreading. A very effective start coming in from... Overlord speed and creep and spread. And an inch is... coming into the natural as I take it well. back. Trey is a platinum level zerg from what Indeed, I'm watching. He, he is. Now, we are looking at a massive spike in production coming in from Naru at the moment, but right now, we need to see a massive spike in production coming in from Skylish or he might be able to fall behind later into this game. Very true, very true. Three drones sit outside the second base. Uh, Nathan ahead by only four workers, uh, so it's still very close in the macro section. Indeed, Larva um, now finishing up at the natural. We're looking at a pretty healthy main base right now. Oversaturated now. Very healthy main base Nathan coming in for only Trey. ahead by two sub one supply. This game is incredibly what a finals we have here, Tiger, wouldn't you say so? Indeed we do. This is absolutely a joy to watch. My heart was pumping with the race change, but now I can see this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Skylish knows how to put on a show, I'll tell you that much. Indeed he does. Now we are seeing a lack of workers in production coming in from Skylish, but the, the creep, creep spread, spread is absolutely beautiful. amazing. Indeed his vision is. on his side of the map is spreading very quickly. Skylish does have a pretty good control. <gasps> we are seeing Adam Naru. another coming from Naru, indeed. About to finish as well. He's going to be That's very ahead of the economy. Naru's macro improving with every game even gets early tech with the robotics indeed but we are seeing another classic nara move with Dang. two out of three on the main vespian geyser and yeah then he really hates worse, filling up those vespian gas it's a one out incredible of three to watch. zero out of three in the natural now we aren't seeing any production coming in from skylish at the moment what is going on is skylish gonna take that third Beautiful move out of Skylish. These two players are almost mirroring each other in this final matchup we have. Here we go. Another base coming in from Skylish with another boost in the economy. Now, Skylish really could use some more tech here. Uh, I would recommend a Roach Warren or a Baneling's Nest. Yeah, that is something I would definitely like to see at the moment. A little bit of a mix-up compared to just a Zergling army coming in from Skylish. But as we look into the third base of Naru, he gets another Vespian Geyser. He's already he... putting workers on that third base. Very impressive move. I'm but he does that... lack four workers from his both his main and his natural. Indeed. I am very impressed that Naru goes for another Vespian Geyser when he hasn't even saturated both of the Vespian Geysers in his main. It's natural. With the... It's like he's buying the... a car, getting it to 100,000 miles and crushing it because he's not getting value out of any of those gases. It's not, not even that. Up. It's like he's going to buy a car, going to the gas station, and only filling it up a quarter way. He doesn't even bother to fill it up to the to the, to the maximum value. He, he, he fills up half his car and drinks the other half because <laughs> he's not using it for this car. Skylish, on the other hand, absolutely putting all his workers, almost, not the third. They're just now, we do have a good amount of drones in the third base. Unfortunately, they don't seem to be doing anything at the moment. He misclicked the minerals. He clicked in front of the minerals. So they're not... Oh, there they go. Now they're, Back they're doing to their work. thing. Indeed. Absolutely beautiful coming in right now. Let's look at the production tab coming in. Looks like Naru's getting a little bit ahead in the production at the moment with a huge army spike about to occur. That's a big Both, warping. Indeed it is. Both players massing now, up Skylar a big has amount a of... a lot of uh, gas and minerals. And he did finish that <laughs> Roach Warren. Uh, he's he does oh uh, a few roaches do pop out but he's sitting on a lot of larvae that he could be spending. Indeed he can. Both players with over two thousand minerals banked up right now. Uh, Overlord coming into the bottom of the map. Maybe the, to go first. He appears scout. to be scouting. He's looking around. 
I like the idea of using his overlords to scout. It really gives you an idea of how big their arm and whether you should attack a massive or not. production coming in from Skylish right now. This That's is going to be pretty big. Now, roaches in large numbers are very effective. Uh, depending on what Nathan's army is going to be, he might be able to beat them down. Indeed he can. With the army can composition that he has at the moment, this might look like a scary fight coming in. Both players, though, had a pretty even supply advantage. Now, we have a pro very true. scouting the third base. He sees the third base operating. He, he, does, he has he information does. on that now. He retreats uh, for the What moment. I'd like to point out is that the army supply is rather even, but a lot of Skylishes is in roaches, uh, which is, is ineffective. I would like to see another tech choice coming in from Skylish. Maybe he'll notice it soon enough. We are seeing a tech he's choice coming in. He's getting the upgrade. In. Yes, he's upgrading his main base. No, his uh, natural. Is which means that he is going to go up to that next level of tech. He indeed will. Only Nathan also getting two more levels of tech coming out. I wonder, do you think he'll actually upgrade anything out of that? Or I'm not sure. The last couple of games, he's only had it just for show, but he doesn't have to seem to be able to do anything with it. Now, for those that don't know, the Twilight Council allows uh, your, your, your zealots to get charged, which is a huge boost, or you can get your stalkers to teleport uh, as an upgrade. I don't, I don't Wait, like are you seeing this? Micro that are you hard. seeing this, Bryce? Look at the production the, oh, tab. My, you don't like to micro that hard, but he's making five of one of the hardest to micro units in the game, Indeed which will pay is. off. I, I, Tiger, I'm so excited. If Nathan nails these, he wins. If he doesn't, he loses. Truly. Oh, I know what he has. Oh. What Truly a like, coin flip. What I would like to see is if he can actually hit the army of Skylish, or is he going to hit his own army with it? That is I'm what I would very like to excited see. Are to you find seeing out. another tech choice coming in from Naru? He's getting... Yeah, th th that tech choice allows him to get Zappy Boys, uh, which is also very good against... <gasps> Hold the fucking phone. I won't say what's happening from Skylish, but this might go down as the greatest StarCraft 2 game I've ever seen. Indeed. Now, he, he can will. still be build, building army while this is happening, uh, which I suggest he do, but... Now, I am very excited to see what he's going to do with this, Bryce. Oh my god, he got, in the beginning, he got it for the, oh my... <gasps> <gasps> All right, I, I'm. You're gonna have to take over, Tiger. I'm sweating profusely, and I'm having visions of dead relatives. Uh, I need you to start casting. My jimmies are getting wrestled right now, Bryce. I might not be able to speak either. Both we of these players be... taking the most ridiculous tech routes I've ever seen. We might see he... possibly the greatest game of StarCraft coming in at the moment. He is loading up. <laughs> oh my God. This Equally might be, ridiculous from both players. This might be the most amazing thing <laughs> like that we might see uh, all day. <laughs> Skylish, that yes, you can still build those army units. Indeed, you can. 5,500 medals floating from Skylish at the moment. Well, now we're using a pretty good amount oh my of God. his bank. Here's the ball area. Let's <gasps> He's getting roach speed. Indeed he is. But he's, he's also getting another upgrade, boys. which uh, you might need to get a third upgrade to make that second upgrade effective. A very good tech choice coming in from <coughs> Skylish at the moment. Looking at the production tab from mm -hmm. Naru, a pretty big production value difference at the moment. Look at the army value. Naru has absolutely built up a pretty scary force. Uh, a lot of its stalkers, though, which had an equal... Two roaches. Another oh. tech choice coming oh. up. But we have three disruptors sneaking into the oh. third base. I didn't oh. even see these. They're just mm, they're, they're going back over and forth. menacingly. Oh! Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> he destroys some larva. larva. He still has two shots. You have to separately micro the orbs. I don't know if Nathan knows that. I don't oh, think no. so either, but two Once roaches fire, coming you in. You press the... V to fire, and then you click the orb like a unit and put it on top of something. Ravager spawning in randomly right in front of the disruptors. The disruptors are just standing there. Disruptors menacingly. need to press V. Ravager is coming out. What is Skylish doing with this big drop that he Hold hasn't on. got yet? Go, go back to the disruptors. I want to see if Nathan figures it out. <laughs> one disruptor goes down. He still has two. Only needs one hit from these disruptors to kill those two Ravagers. 
He just has to press. There it is. He moves it. He doesn't micro it though. It misses. He still got one more shot. Exactly. Does, oh, the queen coming in to finish it off. Another disruptor, the other disruptor going goes down. down. Disruptor hiding behind the debris right here. But this drop coming in from Skylash has just been sitting he gets up on the charge. part of the map. He an does indeed. An he does not have any zealots though. Uh, with zealot charge, making the upgrade effectively useless until some zealots come out. Indeed, we are seeing another two upgrades coming in. But that in. is some upgrades from Skylish. Oh, another he might shot coming in. Two he huge hits, hits coming in from the Hydra list. Hits on the Hydra list, Dan. Doesn't go for the drones for some reason, which one shots all organic units. Seven point oh, seven k minerals from Sky. What is he doing with this army in the upper left? Wait, the production tab. His army is skyrocketing in value. It is indeed, but it won't matter if these the army on the upper left is not moving out. That's true. They are still just sitting there I in was... those units. Oh, the disruptors are fleeing. It looks like one hit a queen. One queen holding off both disruptors at the moment. I was the very excited spread. to see. I was very excited to see what Skylish was going to do with this little mm. trick right here. It was I either going to make me cream my pants, or it was going to be the worst thing I've ever <gasps> seen. Wait. Wait. He's just he's keeping it in his back pocket. He's holding it as the trump card. <gasps> he built two of the wrong type of overlord. We are seeing a another tech Which he can cancel. coming in from Naru. He didn't cancel. Now you can't load stuff. Uh oh. But that's okay. But that's okay, it, because mystic. this is very good for speed and for vision. Naru is uh, switching tech up a little bit. Indeed He's going he for is. everything under the tech tree this game. He very is, but we, we are seeing the exact same army composition that we've seen the last two games. With the addition no. of disruptors. The disruptors, Nathan needs to figure out that you can micro the ball after you shoot it. By how, do I, how do I detonate it? It detonates over time. So you fire the ball out and you move it around and then over three seconds it explodes on whatever it's on top of. But you need to, to mouse it around and click it, the ball that Where comes out. Like son of a bitch. Now, <gasps> three disruptors, oh, the disruptors. In right now. They sell a massive amount of overlords and some hydras. He fires the ball! He micros it! It misses. Oh, it can misses. you do it with the mouse? Get the he picks off one Hydra list, but the Hydra list He's got one more shot. He needs to hit these three Hydras. It's sitting there. He's not moving the orb. He, gets he another got Hydra. one more Hydra, but I don't know about that value right there. Three Disruptors for only two Hydra lists. Not looking too good at the moment. We are seeing That's a very true. beautiful choice in army composition. I think he might be able to go in for the attack here. That is not a good amount of uh, or value for those Disruptors. Uh, very hard to micro. Even pro players have difficulty with disruptors, which is why it's interesting that Nathan chose Three more them. cocoons coming out, but we are looking back at the base of Naru, still being the exact same unit composition when he has a certain upgrade that he researched. It's true. He has a forge also, refusing to get even a single upgrade, while okay. Skylish sits on two upgrades. He, I think he lost the forge in his mismatch of buildings. Uh, it's truly like a toddler scattered his Legos around and can't find the one piece that he needs. Now, 11,000 minerals floating from Skylish at the moment is absolutely amazing. He can there? buy all of StarCraft with that amount of money. Absolutely. Classic uh, Naru move, only 2 out of 3 and 1 out of 3 on the Vespine guys. Both players have enough to put bases on almost every side of their map without We're losing seeing any value. A move out from Naru. Finally he's stepping walking on onto the creep. the creep. He's giving Trey the vision. Now if we're not gonna see anything come out from these from these cocoons, it might be over for Skylish. It might be over for Skylish. Hydralis, Den, and Spire going down the mule He's here. sending his army in in bite-sized chunks, which is absolutely getting evaporated. By the massive amount of Colossus. <gasps> the cocoons moving are finally across. moving in. They're moving across. They go. One goes down. Without them being able to be dropped out, it appears they're just getting picked off <laughs> one by one. I think it might be over for this game. They drop so out. Right. No, there's.
I was trying to make sure it's I It's true, a very, very difficult tactic to pull off. Yeah. It's fine. Now, did you feel more comfortable as Zerg than you did as Terran? Because I saw that you were building more tech and upgrades quicker. Uh, it seems a little easier as Zerg, though. Alright. A future Zerg player in the making. Now, for runner-up, I'll give you a kiss. Hmm, that's good. That's good. All right.